It's been hailed as a remarkable medical breakthrough. In May, a team of surgeons performed the first ever human eye transplant. It was part of a complicated face transplant after the patient lost most of his face in a work-related accident. Dr. John LaPook has a story. Aaron James has always been committed. Committed to his family, committed to his country, and committed to his career, helping to maintain America's power grid. But while doing that job on June 10th, 2021, he accidentally touched a 7,200 volt power line. His wife, Megan, will never forget the call she got from his boss. Aaron has been in an accident. I said, is he okay? And he said, it's pretty serious. Doctors did all they could to save her husband of 20 years. His left arm had to be amputated above the elbow. He also lost his left eye. And when you saw his face unbandaged for the first time, I just took a deep breath and I said, all right, this is what we're dealing with. Good. All right. The Arkansas native also lost his nose and front teeth, so he agreed to undergo a partial face transplant, including the world's first transplant of a donor's eye. So then when you suggested doing an eye transplant and you spoke to ophthalmologists or neurologists or your colleagues, what did they say? It's not possible. It's not going to work. Dr. Eddie Rodriguez and his team at NYU Langone Health spent 21 hours transferring the donor's face, eye socket, and the eye itself to James. A huge challenge was providing blood flow to the transplanted eye. It was an exhilarating moment to just see that blood supply coming to the retina. It's been just over five months since the eye and face transplant. You have some trouble speaking still, right? Does it seem to be getting better? Yes, it is getting better until I can get some feeling in my lips and uh, get my jaw to open more and get some teeth. You also have a lot of things that are working a lot better than before. Yes, everything is. It just blows my mind. A huge question remained. Would light shined into the transplanted eye be recognized by the part of his brain that processes vision? Is it possible that the brain could rewire itself in a different way to be able to actually see an image? I never say never. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.